All right. Uh, annoying woke slogans ranked. I want to see what these slogans are and I want to see the ranking. How does he rate this? way that the left amasses and wields political power is by the control of language. This happens to be my upcoming book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds, available now for pre-order. They wield Con language. Controlling words, controlling minds, they wield language. Cool. Language as a weapon to uh -huh. control the culture, to control our minds, and control our politics. And this leaves us with really, really awful slogans. You know the sort of woke slogans that I'm talking about. Well, I'm here to give you the definitive tier ranking of the woke slogans. Tier, do people call it a tier ranking? It's a tier list. Do people ever call it a tier ranking? I don't know. I feel like he's just trying to cash in on the trend as someone who's kind of out of touch with the internet. Okay. Now here, you know, you, you hear all these different tiers, the A and the B and the C, and then there's the S tier level. So we've got our own categories here. At the bottom level, we have the, the sort of people who refer to Caitlyn Jenner as a she. Right, this is the go- Oh, the people who refer to Caitlyn Jenner as a she. The, the people who respect people's pronouns, they're probably, I'm guessing, at the bottom of the tier list. Go along to get along level of the woke slogans. Then the next level up, we have the, you post crying videos on social media. Why can't women have abortions? Okay, you are emotionally invested in this point. You're, you're. I, I didn't know that was like a trend. Maybe I'm the one that's out of touch. People just post crying videos. They just cry about things on social media. Like, hold on. I might be a little bit with Michael Knowles on this. I don't really respect that. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, like women should be able to have abortions anybody should be men should be able to have an abortions if you're a trans man yeah if if you i don't care what your gender is you should be able to have an abortion and like to lose the right to that really sucks really kind of into it then the second highest level that is at the you exclusively shop at black and brown owned businesses level. You know, I mean, you are really in it. You are bought into this ideology. You're really willing to put your, your money where you Purchasing stuff from businesses owned by black people is that's that's like cringy. I mean, I don't think anyone exclusively purchases from black people people businesses but like 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 the person in in this screenshot just has a sign that says that they matter and and yeah i i guess a black person's business matters just as much as any other business and we shouldn't think of it any other way there's there's like nothing to argue with this this image where your mouth is. And then finally, there's the top tier. That is the, you took your kid to drag queen story hour level, right? That is the absolute worst of the wokest of the wokest of the worst. Before we begin this video. That is the worst. That is, okay, so this is like the thing that he, it really grinds his gears when a, when a drag queen, just a person in a costume reads a story to a kid. This, this is like the, this really upsets him. He's really upset. There, there are a lot more upsetting things in, in this world, and that's like the top tier. Like, I thought it would be like Antifa or something, like when Antifa like blows up your house or some shit. But like this, the <laughs> drag queen story time, really? What a fucking pussy, dude. Get this man a gynecologist. He needs help. Oh, this brought to you by Acre Gold, which we will hear more Shut of my up. choice. My body, my choice is probably the lowest level. I mean, it's it's talking about this egregious thing, which is killing babies to the tune of a million babies. My body, my choice. Uh, this is to the tune of killing babies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So we're just going to get into abortion real quick. Um... If you have something in your body 
that is dependent upon the resources of your body, it's not really an individual thing. It's kind of just a part of you. And when something is a part of you, you have the right to do whatever you want with it. So, like, I would say if if you wanted to be consistent with the logic that abortion is wrong and if you even if it even if you acknowledge that like it's a clump of cells killing a clump of cells is still wrong or like like just no matter what like life is life you can't you cannot do anything about that you cannot impede on a life right you do realize that like the cells that make up your body are alive, right? And then and then we would go to, oh, well, you know, your skin cells are not things that will become people. That's that's a completely different thing. Skin cells are not cells that have the potential to become human lives. OK, OK, that's that's fair. What about sperm cells? Right. So every time people with dicks bust one out, they just they just get a nice fat coom out of their of their nice old dick holes, right? How many like a good amount of sperm cells kind of kind of come out, and when they're out, they die. I mean, even if we're not doing it, like like even during sex, only one of them typically survives and becomes a person. It's you know it's like a whole race to get to the egg so it's like even then all of those like hundreds of cells like they die those all could have been people essentially you have committed mass abortion that's the argument that that's that's my argument (laughs) Basically, it doesn't matter if it has the potential to be a human person. That doesn't that doesn't matter if it is a part of your body and cannot survive on its own. It is not murder. It is you making choices about what goes on in your body. You see, if it was a kid and it was outside of your body and it was capable of existing on its own and it didn't need your body's physical resources, then that would be murder if you were to kill that. But if it does require your body's resources, then it's 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 fine. That's just how I think of it. And I'm not going to debate this with anybody Cause I don't feel like that. We have a video to watch. Babies a year in this country. Please kill my baby. But this is the basic okay. level because you'll hear this from people who aren't even all that woke. They'll say variations on this, like uh, you know, a men shouldn't have an opinion on abortion. Ha! Huh, that's a woman, woman's issue. Uh, men, uh, men, especially men like me who just have no confidence or thoughts of my own, so we don't do that. And, and from women, you hear my body, my choice. But everybody says it. So that's that bottom. Trans men can have opinions on abortion. I don't think cis men really have a place to talk about this, but trans men definitely. Level, you, you're you the sort of person who just refers to Caitlyn Jenner as a she. Another inversion. Ew. Okay, next one. Hey, your fair share. Your fair share. That would be, gosh, that would be another. Yeah, I'm afraid that's just refer to Caitlyn Jenner as a she. I know plenty of moderate Republicans, people who... The, the scale, like, of, of, like, the levels is very confusing to me. Like, it's very confusing how that how that's ranked. Like, he said drag queen story time is, like, the worst of the worst, but it's, like, at the top. And it's, like, referring to Caitlyn Jenner as, like... Like, is it levels of extremism? Like, it's not that extreme to call Caitlyn Jenner a she? I'm... Like, I'm trying to figure this out. Like, so is this like the least extreme and this the most extreme? And then like, like, is it levels of extremism? 
Is it levels of cringe? Like I'm trying to, I would guess it's levels of extremism, but still it's like really. Refer to Caitlyn Jenner as a she. I know plenty of moderate Republicans, people who, you know, they'll vote for McCain one day and Obama the next day or whatever, Obama one day and Romney the next day. They're kind of these moderate types who go into this. They'll say, you know, the corporations need to pay their fair share or the rich people need to pay their fair share. And they haven't really thought about it too much. Republican moment. <laughs> the corporations don't need to pay their fair share. Oh, yeah, yeah. The people that are hoarding all of the wealth in our country. Yeah, no, they, they don't they don't need to pay for that. Republicans, man, they will they will do whatever it takes to convince dumb fuck boomers and and just actually it's not even just boomers. It's just dumb fuck people that like tax breaks for the rich is going to help the poor and middle class somehow. Right. They they will suck people off, jerk people off. They, they will go really far. Right. They, they will go really far to make sure that they get people scared of these culture war issues and that. If they don't give the rich their tax cuts, it will be the end of Western civilization. It's really, it's just really funny. I don't know. I don't know like where you, you get this logic from, but here we are in 2021 looking at someone with this logic. You're certainly not going to post videos of themselves crying on social media, uh, but but they are espousing this sort of frivolous line. I mean, what is your fair share? Right, I mean, I, I, right now the rich people in this country pay something like 97% of income taxes. So what's the, is your fair share 98%, 99%? No, it's just envy. There's no, there's no limit to it. It's just gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's not even really about acquiring anything, right? The Hold on, how much? <laughs> okay, let's, let's look this up. Holy shit, this is, there's a lot of numbers. The top 10% of earners bore responsibility for over 71% of all income taxes paid and the top 25% paid 87% of all income taxes. Top 50% of filers earned 88% of all income and were responsible for 97% of all income taxes paid in 2018. That is crazy. That is crazy. So like they are paying most of the taxes, right? But like they could just have so much money. They could they could just have so much money that like the amount they're paying in taxes just overshadows the poor and middle class and it's still not like it still doesn't do much for them they pay a decent amount but it isn't scaled to how much they still make yeah yeah that that's the impression i get the people who call for this are not really getting a ton really just a drop in the bucket compared to their yearly income yeah like the scale is has to be so off because if we have people like Jeff Bezos walking around and and Bill Gates like just they have so much money that it's like if they dropped a hundred dollar bill on the floor they would lose money in the time that it would take for them to pick it up like if we have people like this walking around like this is like just nothing there's just so much money they have Really, all we're asking for is, is just like redistribution of wealth. Because there is a big amount of income inequality because we have enough resources for everybody to live a suitable and nice life. But like. It's it, we're not we're not distributing that equally at all. That money is just going to government programs so we can ship it overseas and have drag queen story hour in Syria or so. I don't know. I don't know exactly what we're doing with the money. That one. Okay. Lowest tier. Next up.
Silence is violence. Okay, now we're moving up a little bit. So silence is violence is is a confusing one because <laughs> we're told I would I would never say that that just kind of sounds dumb silence is violence I mean I guess the the message of that is speak up talk that for instance if you are a white person and you state your opinion in some way that that is uh, on a racial issue that that is violence we're told that if you're a man and you state your opinion on what is what, uh, on a sexual issue, that is violence. We're told that if you're a conservative at all and you espouse any kind of conservative view on a college campus, that is violence. Right? We're told that speech is. It's no, it's not like physical violence. I don't know. I, I guess it's more like mental violence because like being stupid and making it everybody else's problems. Also, silence is violence. <laughs> so pretty much anything you do or do not do is violence. Yay, violence! This, you're getting a little more, you know, you, you have definitely cried on social media. You, you have the videos up. They're not, maybe it's not all the time, but they're, they're there. Uh, that, would be, that would be the next up tier. Okay, what's next? Diver diversity is our strength. This is... Oh, this line. Oh my gosh, this line. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, just as a matter of um, sort of basic philosophy, unity is a strength, right? Where if we're Diversity is strength. Yeah, that, that makes sense. If you have, I mean, if you're playing like a tabletop RPG, for example, if you have a diverse party, that has a variety of different skills and abilities that will get you through a lot of situations. In that sense, diversity is strength. And I guess that applies to the real world too, because if you have a mixture of people from all sorts of backgrounds, with all sorts of experiences, all sorts of you know, a variety of knowledge, when you put that together, you get some good stuff. What would art be if it was all made by people with the same worldview? It would be boring. It wouldn't be special. We wouldn't care about art. But because there's so many different types of art forms, artists, and just ways people express how they make art, like, the diversity is what makes us love art as a human species. So like if we're going, if we're going full philosophical, I think Michael Knowles is kind of full of shit and um, he might need a laxative so he can get that out. Cause he's, he's very, he seems very built up anyway. Talking about like the transcendentals of being like unity. Unity is good, right? Things have strength, you know, you're, your, uh, a chain is only as strong as the weakest link, right? You want things to be unified. You want them to have integrity. Uh, e pluribus unum, out of many, one. So many different types in America, but they all come together. Uh, join or die. This was the uh, French and Indian War cartoon drawn by Benjamin Franklin, right? Coming together in unity. And then the libs come in and they say, no, actually, diversity the libs. is our strength. Diversity is not, <laughs> it's not our strength. It's not a strength at all. And... Uh, this doesn't mean that we can't have lots of different people in the United States and all sorts of different types, but they actually have to lose some of their identity in order, and they need to take on an American identity, and they need to... Oh, holy shit. They need to lose part of their identity and take on an American identity. He's unironically arguing for, like, assimilation. This guy is really fucked. He's really far gone. Holy shit. Imagine being anti-diversity. And let's let's go through like the slogans, the, the based slogans, as he as he would say. So. About like the transcendentals of being. I don't know what a transcendental is. You used a big word. You got me. You stumped me. Like unity, unity is good, right? Things have strength. You know, your your uh... unity is good. 
you can have diverse unity. So like, yeah, people coming together, that's great. And it's also great when they're different and they have different experiences. That's great. Uh, a chain is only as strong as the weakest link. A chain is only as strong as the weakest link. This isn't a counter to like diversity is strength. This just means if you have a shitty person in your group, your group will probably fall apart. It doesn't mean if someone's different, it just means if you have a bad link, if you have a bad person, that it could cause problems. That This doesn't... Okay. Right. You want things to be unified. You want them to have integrity. Uh, it's No, it, it's not about integrity. It's not about all of the chain links being the same it's about them all functioning right because you could theoretically have a chain with like a ton of different links made of different materials and it, it would work it would be functional the only thing that this saying is referring to is if one of these chains happened to not function right that's all that's all this is He's he's really he's really trying for this one, and it, it's when you break it down, it's obvious it's not working. Pluribus unum, out of many one, so many different types in America. Out of many one, so yeah, that's literally when we have diversity and we come together, many different things, and we come together, and we make one big thing, and it's a collaborative effort. Like that's a good thing. I don't. It's crazy how he just interprets this as like pro assimilation. I mean, maybe that was maybe that was what the saying meant, but like I just feel like you could get such a, a better interpretation of that. But they all come together. A join or die. Join or die. Okay, this was kind of fucked up. This is very fashy. <laughs> This one's very fashy. If I had to, if I had to give my opinion on this one, I this was the uh, French and Indian War cartoon drawn by Benjamin Franklin, right? Coming together in unity, and then the libs come in and they say, no, actually, diversity is our strength. Diversity is not, it's not our strength. It's not a strength at all. And uh, this doesn't mean that we can't have lots of different people in the United States and all sorts of different types. But they actually have to lose some of their. When you use slogans to defeat slogans, yeah, he's he's very funny in order and they need to take on an American identity and they need to ditch some of the things that make them separate and take on things that will bring them into the American whole you're not allowed to say that you're not allowed to say that <laughs> yeah let's just like erase people's culture and only have like our white American culture because that's the best culture and that's the strong culture that now but this one is without question the bottom tier this is the sort of person who calls oh, Caitlyn Jenner a sheep fight for 15 a sheep so this one you got subtitle a sheep <laughs> to be a little more in the weeds this is not the kind of diversity is our strength beep boop pay your fair share beep beep boop but you know it's not it's not the sort of thing that has just been so drilled into us all the time that we do. You, you have to be paying attention to left-wing news outlets to even know what Fight for 15 is. It's this idea that we need a $15 minimum wage or something. Uh, this, you're, you're at least... Or something? Are you not sure? Um, I think it'd be nice to have a, a living wage for the minimum wage. It would be nice if we could just, like survive off of minimum wage I, I don't know that's that's all i really think about that and i feel like that's really hard to argue against everybody deserves basic human needs interesting crying videos on social media you may well only shop at black and i'm actually going to bump this one up this is going to be you only shop at black and brown owned businesses because you're you're pretty in the weeds especially on labor issues and you're you know you know the slogans that probably are not going to become super popular for another you know five or six years so that that's good that one's actually pretty high up there next follow the science you dumb sheep give me your mask so i give them to my friends no now you gotta wear your masks you dumb sheep yeah you are attacking science. Follow the science. What the fuck? 
Holy shit. That was that was a lot. That was a lot. I think I just I, I think guys, I think we just heard a rectum vocalize. I think I think he really he really quenched his his ass cheeks together and made his asshole speak. I mean, we didn't get to see it. We didn't get to, there was an image over us, but I think I think they did that for a reason. I think his asshole was talking to us because that's like, do you hear this? You dumb sheep. Give me your mask so I give them to my friends. No, now you gotta wear your masks, you dumb sheep. I don't know. If I heard an asshole speak, I think this is what it would sound like. Just, I'm just saying. Sheep. You are attacking science. Follow the science. Yeah, that's the bottom tier. Call Bruce Jenner a sheep. It's really. Oh my god, that is. <laughs> Okay, so we went to Bruce Jenner, uh, but it's ironic because the scientists are are like pro trans. It's either it's either so so right wingers like to like to do this. So they either straight up just are anti science, and they're just blatant about it. They're they're anti science, or they claim to be pro science. But they actually don't know anything about science and they just assume the science fits their narrative. So it's looking like Michael Knowles is just anti-science. He, he's just completely anti-science, but he might. He might be like, oh, but the scientists actually prove we're right when they literally don't. If you look into it. <laughs> Distressing how many of these slogans are at that bottom tier. Because it's not that the slogans aren't radical. The idea that we follow the science, like we make a god out of the science, whatever the science is, that we, we uh, do not understand that all human conflict is ultimately religious. We do not recognize that there is such a thing as philosophy, such a thing as ethics, such a thing as morality. We just, it's all just the science, duh, you know, and it's like, it's that, that meme where it's like the letters are lowercase and capitalized alternately. It's so, it's one of the... I, th I think that he finds more value in religion and philosophy, but like that's great for religious and ph philosophical questions. We're talking about real life practical questions. Science is the best thing that we could go to. It's the most objective and empirical thing that we can go to. And it's not like we're being dogmatic or like religious about it. It's we're being scientific about being into science. We're looking at data. We are interpreting results and applying it to the world. I just. OK, I, I guess he's just full dumb fuck anti science. Um, not much I can argue with there. Dumbest expressions out there. And yet. And it's a radical expression, too, because it's so wickedly materialist. Um, but it's very popular. What? It's the bottom one. You call Bruce Jenner a she. Next up. Oh, my God. Black Lives Matter. Yeah. No, this, to, to, well, hmm. no, I'm, I'm, this, is, this is the bottom tier. This is still the bottom tier, I think. No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to He it. also said that it's like it's not it's not very radical. Like, so I don't understand, like, what the tier is the top to bot like it just doesn't not it's not computing in my dumbass cat brain um black lives matter the idea behind black lives matter as a slogan is that black people have it a bit worse than white people in our country and I think we should recognize that and try to make things better. That's that's Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is like, yeah, when bad things happen disproportionately to black people, that's a problem. And we need to do something about that. That's that is the message. What's wrong with that? <laughs> This was the bottom tier. Everyone was saying this. Everyone was posting the stupid black square on BLM Day or whatever. You know, that everyone was doing it. But I think that has changed. 
you, there was a time when even Republican politicians would say, I believe Black Lives Matter. And you're just like, oh, bro, you don't, it's a Marxist organization. They're avowedly a Marxist organization that seeks to disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family. Oh. Their words, not mine. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, he's just, he's just full mask off. Like, we need the Western civilization and the nuclear family and we cannot have anything that disrupts that anything that goes outside of that is very bad like he's just he might as well just be a fascist i i consider this pretty fascist they talk about the cisgender patriarchy right it's a ridiculously radical organization but all the all the the word cisgender makes him very scared the cisgender patriarchy dude you're cis you're, you're cisgender there is a there is a patriarchy and it is dominated by cis white men cis straight white men yeah that's that is a thing that that is a thing the conservatives who didn't want to be called racist would, would go along and say, no, I believe Black Lives Matter. Seriously, uh, that I think has stopped, though. I think recently you don't. Really Why is it that conservatives are always afraid of being called racist? Something there must be something conservatives are doing. That gets people to wonder if they're racist. I don't know. Just just pointing that one out. <laughs> really see that. I think BLM has been exposed. For one, it's been redefined as by large mansions ever since the head of BLM was caught spending millions of dollars on giant mansions. I think people now know that it's a it's a racket. People know it's a, an extortion group. And also after BLM burned the country down for about six months, I think that soured people on it. So this one, you're going to the country was the whole country was burned down. I don't know. I just find that hyperbole really funny. You have to be a little higher. This is you post crying videos on social media. Here's something new, really new. The price of gold. Shut up. Biden Shut up. More than thirty. Just recently, Shut up. inflation is a concern. A little kooky. I find precious metals great way to you go to that. This one's a little enhanced and terrible. This is like, for instance, when we would uh, that's not who use we enhanced are. Enhanced interrogation techniques on terrorists. This is not quite what you'd call torture. But I don't know what this is. It's you know a little tough. It's a little rougher. And some squishes made a big deal. He's about a this. fascist. Watch his political compass video. He just straight up is. Oh my god, that might be another thing we watch one day. It went from yeah, it went from they're burning cities down to they're burning states down to they burn the whole fucking country down. It's like, what's next? The whole world? They're gonna burn the world down? I don't know, dude. I'm fine. You're fine. We're just chilling. We're not burned down. And they said, you can, we can't, we can't torture the jihadis. That would be wrong. That's not who we are. It's, well, oh, okay. We're not, we're not jihadis. So, yeah, they're not who, oh, the torturers. Okay. So they're saying basically the jihadis would do that or some other regimes would do that, but we don't do that. Why? Because we're not serious about winning wars. Is that the point? That's not who we are. The Geneva Convention says you can. I don't care if this thing's against the Geneva Conventions. I want it. The Geneva Convention is designed to protect civilians in war, and it provides certain uh, accommodations to legal com Okay, so he's basically saying, I am pro-torture, and if terrorists torture people, I want to torture people. I feel like it's really easy to know why this is, this is bad. Torturing people is not okay, no matter what. It's it's just very unethical. And uh, yeah, we shouldn't have a priority to win wars. We should have a priority to end wars. Not by winning or losing, but just by stopping that would like de-escalation. That's my jam. That's what I'm into. But uh, Mr. Knowles would argue otherwise combatants in war if you're a terrorist by definition you are not adhering to the geneva convention you're targeting civilians for instance so you're not entitled to those protections and if you were given those protections you completely undermine the geneva convention so i got all yeah but but sometimes we get people and we think they're terrorists but by mistake like like we identify them as terrorists when they're in actuality 
civilians. But like even that, I don't think we should really torture terrorists either. I had, okay. Off on a tangent. That phrase, that's not who we are, is a, a very silly one. And it usually just uh, means, that's not who I want us to be. <laughs> uh, however, okay, this one is going to be a little higher. It's, this is not just the total basic level. This is, you, you do post crying videos on social media. You're probably crying when you use that stupid slogan. Next. Defund the police. Yeah, okay, now we're, we're bumping up a little higher here. I mean, this is, you do not shop at a white-owned <laughs> restaurant or shop. Like, no way. I mean, this is, you are... If you're doing defund the police, you, I think that most of your shopping is done at night. With Defund the police is kind of like a slogan that hasn't been very well received because it makes people think that, like, we want to get rid of the police. Listen, the police are really problematic. The police are really fucked up. We need to, like, really reform our police and make it to where... They're not basically a fucking military regime with armored vehicles and shit. Like, that's that's kind of like what people who say that mean. Like, we want better police. We want police that won't, like, disproportionately attack people of color and people that are just, like way too violent like we want an actually good police that is not so militaristic that's really what the point of that is and unfortunately people just haven't received that slogan very well and have haven't like gotten that message but that's the message anyways with rocks through windows <laughs> You know, wearing masks and not for COVID, okay? Uh, that That's a little more radical. That has not been totally mainstreamed. I mean, you hear it with politicians, too. But even even the squad types had to back off of this a little bit. And they, they are by far the most extreme on it. That's going to be that second highest tier. Next up. Love is love. Love is love. Okay, love. That love is love, and they're showing a person kissing a dog. Most people in the LGBT community are not advocates for pedophilia or bestiality because kids and animals are not capable of consenting. They are not capable of providing legal consent. It's just not, it's just not possible. So we don't, we're not into that. I don't support that. This is like very disingenuous phrasing because like most people who say this are just talking about like being gay. So yeah, let's see where he takes this. Which is a, a truism, I guess, but it's not even, it doesn't convey anything, right? There are different kinds of love. I love my wife, I love my son, and I love my producer. I love them in very different ways. If I were to confuse the way that I love them at some point, I would very likely be committing a crime. There are different kinds of love, um, but this insistence that we can flight all sorts of love and just make them. No, nobody, nobody's denying that there are different types of love. What the fuck? Oh, okay, that was really weird. I didn't see that one coming. All about sex or something is, uh, creepy and gross and very stupid however a lot of people say this a lot of people i would say this is not the basic well huh is it no i guess it is i guess this has been so it's it's been very mainstream even now i mean this was a, a line used okay yeah people that say this you know they are saying okay yeah, we are we have the same sex, but like we want the right to have sex for each other because we love each other and love is love. Like, yeah, OK, sex is a part of it, but like it's not when we're talking about consenting adults, it's none of your fucking business. And 
if you really believe in freedom and liberty, this shouldn't upset you. This shouldn't upset you. To justify the radical redefinition of marriage from what it had always meant everywhere in human history to this new radical redefinition that takes sexual difference out of it. Um, but even many Republicans go along with that now. Obviously, Anthony Kennedy, the romantic poet of the Supreme Court, waxed poetic about this. So I think this is the lowest tier. You're the sort of person who calls Bruce she. Ugh. No justice, no peace. This is a little higher than uh, the- They censored the middle finger. Ah, what a fucking pussy. <laughs> Oh, this guy is so lame. Oh my god. How could people unironically watch this? Man has no balls. Caitlyn Jenner thing. This is definitely, well, this is higher than the crying videos even. Because you're not crying. You're not coming from a position of weakness. No justice, no peace. Usually when you say that, you've got a Molotov cocktail in your hand or something like it. During, during the mostly peaceful protests, protests of 2020, when BLM was terrorizing city after city after city, you heard a lot of no justice, no peace. I mean, that is an explicit call for violence. The whole world must learn of our peaceful ways by force. Usually of the terroristic variety, right? Usually targeting civilians. So that's going to be targeting you, you don't civilians. Shop at, at Whitey's shop, okay? You you are exclusive. You are discriminating against people, definitely on their race, in your economic life. <laughs> that's going to be the second highest here. I can't breathe. So I can't breathe is this, this, uh, oh it's one God. of the slogans of BLM. BLM has a lot of fraudulent slogans. Fraudulent? Uh, so Hands Up Don't Shoot was the big one with, with Michael. Fraudulent? Oh my God. What? <laughs> Whew, this man is insane. Michael Brown. Uh, the, the narrative was that Michael Brown was a gentle giant who was gunned down by a vicious cop and killed execution style while he was on his knees and his hands up. And he said, hands up, don't shoot. And none of that was true. He had just robbed a store. He was accosting this cop. He reached for the cop's gun. And finally, the cop had to, had to shoot him. And this was uh, affirmed by multiple autopsies and grand jury and eyewitnesses. And it's just, there's no basis to it. So the slightly more credible one was from the death of George Floyd, where George Floyd said, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, and it was ostensibly because the officer, Derek Chauvin, was kneeling on his neck. However, George Floyd was saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, video later revealed, before he was on the ground. He actually asked to be taken out of the cop car, which is why he was put on the ground. And so that the narrative kind of fell apart. However, however, while this might not be the most... The cop didn't help. The cop's knee didn't help. He couldn't breathe, and he died of asphyxiation and and he's also pulling the like he was no angel argument like dude just because these people had problems and they weren't like perfect upstanding citizens and you know they might have even been kind of shitty citizens in some respects that doesn't justify fucking murdering them it, it just if you believe that you're, you're an absolute fucking bloodlust, crazy, fucking deranged lunatic person. Yeah, that's what I came up with. You're 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 one of those. It's really bad. Most basic level, it might not just be the Bruce Jenner calling, you know, calling him a she. Uh, this is only the I next hate time. the transphobia every time like I see someone being transphobic like I get like secondhand cringe it's so bad Highest level this is only you know you've posted the occasional crying video on social media uh, and the reason for that is the truth of these incidents the true complexities of them just don't get out because the media powers that be refuse to permit this kind of stuff out so this is going to be the crying video Everything with the George Floyd situation is out. I did write a report about it. it. Everything's out. This did happen. Okay. Love, not hate, the activist said as he set fire to the courthouse. It's bringing love. Don't let it get away. Break its legs. <laughs> love, not hate, the mostly peaceful protester said as he was walking out with a pair of Nike sneakers from the shattered storefront. Love, not hate. 
screamed the blue-haired Antifa activist at the elderly Trump supporter? Yes, another would talk about conveying the opposite of what it means. Framing. <laughs> framing. He, 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 is, he is doing some framing. This is... Yeah, okay, so this is how, this is how you, you look cool. You frame, you frame yourself to look good, and you frame the, the other people to look bad. Anybody can do this. Any anybody can do. We could just turn that right back around. Love not hate. Um, and we're talking about like I don't know, fucking trans people getting hate crimed by white supremacists. Like, I feel like that's actually the context we use this in. But uh, go off. <laughs> But this is a, this is a basic one. This is a totally. If you call Bruce she, you uh, for sure have said love not hate earnestly, not not ironically. Eat the rich. Okay, this one's a little higher. You, you actually don't hear this one as much anymore because this eat, eat the, the rich, rich goes back to a classical Marxism that viewed the world in primarily economic terms and, and viewed social. This one made the liberals angry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah this this one this one made. Riley Grace and Pixie Explains really upset, unfortunately. I, I, I kind of like this one, so I guess I'm a bit too I'm a bit too far. I'm a bit I'm a bit radical. Um but let's see, let's see what he says. Struggle is a matter of class, whereas the, the cultural or neo or western Marxists, they're called all sorts of things. Uh, realized that the class thing wasn't as effective, but race and sex and that those sorts of identities are actually more effective in creating a sense of solidarity. So it's really like the Bernie types. I mean, you've got to be pretty, you've got to be pretty into this. It, it resists all of this classification because all of these, the drag queen thing and the black and brown businesses and the social media and Caitlyn Jenner, they're all cultural matters and this is just an economic matter. But if I had to just throw a dart at a dartboard and pick one, I would say it's high enough up. It's probably at the shopping at black and brown businesses only in as much as you are making economic decisions now. You are making public decisions based on your radical ideology. Michael Knowles is literally <laughs> Hitler. Duh. So this is not the most basic level. Oh my God. I, now this one, this one surprised me. Um, I don't know if people, if, if this is like a slogan, if lots of people say this, Something tells me that he just kind of made this one up and hey, maybe he's maybe he's just telling us something. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Literally Hitler. Duh. So this is not the most basic level. This is because some I guess some people just haven't heard of my show. I don't know why not Probably because they haven't read my upcoming book, but this is not Shut the up. highest tier. This is not the, you know, the, the elite of the elite, you know, like you're actually taking your kids to Drag Queen Story Hour. This is, I don't even think this is, you exclusively shopped at, at black and brown owned businesses. I am called literally Hitler, I think multiple times a day. I mean, this is not, it's not that out there, folks. And I want you to know, I am not literally Hitler. Okay, if any, I think I would be closer to Mussolini, wouldn't I? Good if people are saying that you're literally Hitler multiple times a day, maybe you should do some self-reflection. Maybe you should, like, look into why that is. The Duce, you know, the Italian. Not, I can't even, I don't even speak German. Nine! Nine, nine, nine! Free the nipple, that is the worst picture you possibly. That's so gross. My eyes! Uh, free the nipple. A f okay, a, a person that was overweight, so gross. This man is such a fucking pussy. He gets offended by everything. I, a shirtless man that's like, kind of overweight. Like, really, really, this is this grosses you out. Damn. Is it's not the Caitlyn Jenner she thing. It is some teenage boys who are who know a good opportunity. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mussolini was a white nationalist. 
and he did yeah wrote it wrote it coming out here reminding everyone yeah Mussolini is a white nationalist and he's openly admitting to being a fascist so nice, nice call nice catch there when I see one it might be it's beyond even the posting of the crying videos it's more it's more thought out than that it's you're probably only shopping at black and brown businesses i mean you're you're really kind of down the rabbit hole at that free the nipple it's just like let women show their their full titties like how men can show their full titties I don't know if you're against this, you're you're probably just against titties and that's kind of gay. That's that's kind of gay. Just low key. Just saying if you're afraid of seeing a, a, a woman's titty, I, I don't know. That's kind of sus. Just just putting that out there. Just a little sus point freeing the nipple why of all the why of all the pictures what a, what a way to end on a bad note do we have any more oh, that's so gross i gotta end with that image in my i gotta end with the free the nipple image come on guys guys don't do this to me that's it we have not made it to the s tier you are not there is we have not yet seen a slogan that is only of the most woke of the woke of the woke and do you know why it's not because those slogans aren't radical they're very radical slogans it's because the left has been so effective at popularizing insanely radical stuff that none of it, I, I bet you could look at every woke slogan out there, none of it is going to be only reserved for the elite of the elite of the, because they've popularized it. They have controlled our words, they are controlling our minds. Or maybe you're just really bad at making coherent tier lists and you can't even make one that's like scaled properly i don't know this man's a dumb fuck and we just did an hour long video isn't that crazy thank thanks for thanks for watching that was a that was a hard one to watch but it was kind of funny it was you know he's really dumb i think he needs to take an iq test that that'd be a good one to watch next